Welcome back Hackerets. It's time for our deep dive into Azure Pipelines. Um, and before we do that, there are two things we're going to need to configure. But before we do that, if you go into Cloud Cadets here and we click on the Pipelines section, we see there's only three here. And what we're going to do, we're going to go click on the organization name up here, organization settings down here. And if you go to uh, pipelines section settings here, we see there are two uh, switches here. One called disable creation of classic build pipelines and disable creation of classic release pipelines. These are by default now toggled on, but we're going to turn them off because not everyone who works with us on the pipelines uh, are a big fan of the YAML, the text-based pipelines. Uh, they like the graphical user interface. Uh, people might be just starting out, including you. So. We're going to turn those off. So if we go back to our organization, our project, and now we click on the pipelines, we see there are a lot more options now. And we're going to explore how this changes the UI for us. So before we do that, we uh, in our previous uh, videos, when we dealt with creating teams, we had like, a, for example, for our use case, we had the .NET developer team. So if I go to project settings and I go to teams, we have three teams here. This is the .NET developer teams in our projects. Um, and then we have our DevOps teams, which is us. We who handle these pipelines and a lot more things. And we have the testers teams here. Um, if you were the admin, you might not have noticed that, you're, uh, that you have access to everything. But if you added people, they will not be able to create pipelines. So if we click DevOps teams here, and um, all right, but we go to, we go to the tab here, permissions. We see there are different types here. I think by default, everyone is a, uh, uh, if we click on DevOps team, we see what are they members uh, of. They're members of, by default, contributors and project value users. So not that much. So they wouldn't be able to create neither a build pipeline nor a release pipeline. So if I go back here, permissions, click on the DevOps team, we can see that we can, for each team, customize a lot of things, for example, delete team projects. Uh, uh, for some of these teams, we don't we want them to have that all access. For example, the testers don't need a lot. They can have just their test plans or whatever else you're gonna give them access to. And the same thing for the core development team, in our case, the .NET developers. But we as DevOps need a little more. So we can see here right now, I'm the only member, but we can add members here. Uh, member of and here we can add uh, others as we saw we had the different types so if we click add here if I uh, let's see what well, if we can do this a little more interesting can we see here add nope not there keep losing myself with this user interface uh, let's see let's open up the this teams part where were we when we saw those Nope, not here. Uh, I really lost myself there now. Here, here, my bad. Oh, this user interface gets confusing. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, move this window here. Let's open the DevOps team here and move it to the right. And um, let's take a look here. Uh, this team only has those. We want more. For example, we want the build administrators so they can uh, create, modify, update the build pipelines. And we also want them to be uh, have access to the release pipelines. And we might also want them to have access to project administrators so they can add a branch policy, for example. And we'll look into those specifically soon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go add here. I'm going to search for build. We see it first there. And we want our organization, Cloud Cadets. We want uh, the release as well, Cloud Cadets, and then the project. We get uh, project administrators. We don't want them for the whole organization, just Cloud Cadets. There we go, and save. Because if I now to the left here, uh, go to our Cloud Cadets here, and then we go to our repos, and then uh, we we'll go for the branches. We see we have this icon here, branch has policies. 
and this can only be created they can only do this the other members of your team if they have project administrator uh, and these are defaults as you saw the whole list there and uh, for starters you knew you should you could go with that but when it comes to production and uh, things are more serious then you might want to look into that further what is allowed and what is not uh, for example here permissions you can also customize here so uh, and for testers they don't need that much uh, so this uh, part we can access as uh, project administrators and if you go to pipelines here we open this up the this is the build pipelines these are if you uh, you get access to as build administrators and here you have the releases and this one as release administrators so with that covered we can take a breather and in the next video we'll start with build pipelines until next uplink